Father God, in the name of Jesus. Hi, I'm Dr. Nkenge Jackson of the Willow Health Heritage and Renaissance Center. This is our first day of Techie Camp. This is our third year. Uh, this was the brainchild of Dr. Uh, Gail Jackson, who uh, passed in 2023. Her vision was to have a safe space where um, children could be introduced to technology and concepts that would overall improve their life and their economic potential. So we had a wonderful day. That and the students are here ready to work and we are so glad that you could join us today for this technical uh, My name is Ashante. Um, I actually worked for Willow Hill last year so this is my second time returning. Um, I graduated from Northern Southern last year with my bachelor's in psychology and I just love to be a part of the Willow Hill community and I love to just be with the kids and I'm excited to work with the kids again this year and we're going to have a lot of fun. Hi everyone, my name is Keziah Jackson. I just graduated from Georgia Southern University last month with my bachelor's in psychology. This is also my second uh, time being with Willow Hill. As you can see, I am excited to see all these new faces. I'm excited to work with the kids. I'm excited to teach them new things that they never do before. So yeah, we're going to have a great summer. All right. My name is Elena Hendricks and I am an anthropology student at Georgia Southern. I'm graduating May of 2025, and this is my first time actually at Willow Hill Second Camp. They are very well known in the anthropology program, and I'm excited to be here and learn from the kids and teach them as well. Good morning, everyone. My name is Donye, and I'm a recent graduate from Georgia Southern University from the Bachelor's in Public Health. And this also will be my first summer this summer, and I'm looking forward to be here with the kids and learning. started 150 years ago in a one-room turpentine shanty in 1874. So this year is 150 years of history. How many of you guys like history? Oh, that is great. Well, if you don't like history, we're hoping that you will. So we're going to take you back in time. Let's see. How many of you know anybody that was born in 1920? Probably not. <laughs> you said your mom was born in 1920? <laughs> 1914. Okay. Okay. So that was a long time ago, over 100 years ago. So we probably don't know very many people were born in 1920. How many people know someone who was born in 1950? 51. 1951. Okay. All right, so this building was built in 1954. So it was built before a lot of your parents were even born. You think you'd like to go to a one-room school? No. Maybe. Okay, someone with a definitive no. So the morning would start about 6 a.m. As children got up and started to walk three miles to school. Does anybody have to walk three miles to school? No. What would you do if you had to walk three miles to school? You would you'd be ready. You'd be ready. You wanted to go to the bathroom? You'd have to use the outhouse. We're gonna show you that later on. <laughs> 12 noon, you'd have lunch. 
the students would bring pails, a bucket, and at the bottom they might have a biscuit, syrup, and maybe a piece of bacon. We have several fruit trees. We Can have, we them? Uh, yes, not right now, they're not ready yet. We have peach trees, pear trees, plum trees, apple trees, and um, pear, uh, pear trees. So we have those and we have several garden beds with vegetables. We have um, peppers, squash, watermelon, um, uh, cucumbers, and we have a grapevine. Um, no, no corn. Over 200,000 black men joined the Union Army during the Civil War. So let's go keep walking. And uh, this is the 1954 room, uh, how a, a classroom would look in 1954. And this is the room that is going to house the grade school children for our techie camp. And you can follow me. Okay, guys. Everybody gather around. You can look around. In this room, this is actually our latest exhibit, which we just opened last year. And we have, come on on this side, come on this side, come on this side. Now, we have two boats that were donated from Georgia Southern. And we created an exhibit around these two boats. What is so special about these two boats is that <clears throat> they are handmade in Africa. <clears throat> they were actually built in Ghana. If you look back there at the map, there's the continent of Africa, and Ghana is on the west coast of Africa. And what is so important and unique about these boats is that this boat right here is actually made from a special type of wood. Uh, is anybody listening? From a special type of wood called the Wawa tree. If you look here, this is a huge tree in South Africa called the, what is it called? Wawa. The Wawa tree. And what was so special about this wood is that um, uh, this wood would not deteriorate in salt water. So that's why they use the Wawa tree to build uh, the, these types of canoes. So this canoe is a special um, salt water um, boat. And if you see this boat right here is actually a, um, a fresh water boat. So we have two different types of boat. And if you can look right here, at these tools, these are the actual type of tools that they use to hand make each of these boats. We're just going to do a couple exercises, then we're going to go over the rules and regulations. Because it's very important to do exercise in the morning, to wake your body up, to get you ready to go, ready to learn, ready to pay attention and follow directions. All right, so everybody stretch your hands out. And we're going to uh, stretch them to the sky for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good job. Now, you're going to uh, stretch your arms like this. And we're going to go forward for five seconds, then forward for another, uh, then backwards for five seconds. Go. One, two, three, four, five, and backwards. One. Two. Is something for a second camp video? Oh, well, I'm just delighted. I well, enjoyed, welcome, I'm sure I enjoyed the tour uh -huh. and uh, the hospitality is really good. Okay. okay. okay.